I think the people in Bruning are unique because they're all family oriented, hardworking, and they take pride in where they live. There's not an empty spot on Main Street. There's 100 people that drive into town for work every day. We've got a great grocery store, great school, of course, a great bank, and a lot of people that support it and live here. It's a community that people are proud of. It's a community that people want to keep viable. I think we're a welcoming community for new people who want to uh, move here and have employment here. We have a lot of people that are invested in other people's lives in this community. They want to see them thrive. They want to talk to them. They do care about how are your kids? How is your mom? You know, that's a big important part of things around here. In any community, big or small, it takes a good bank. And I think Bruning Bank has been that to this community. The first date I had with my wife, I asked her if she'd be willing to move back, move to Bruning, Nebraska. She grew up in a small town herself and she okayed it, so we went on a second date. <laughs> I grew up in a farm just outside of town of Bruning, Nebraska. And about 12 years ago, I started banking. My family's been in banking since 1891. I'm the fifth generation of bankers. It's important to have a bank like Bruning Bank in a community because we really give back to our communities. I've had the opportunity to work at every location, even if it's just for a few days. I think we all share the same culture. There's a lot of great people that I work with, some of the best bankers I've, I've ever met. People that just care about their communities. I like working at Birding Bank because the people are fantastic to work with. It's like we're all cut from the same cloth. All of our attitudes and mindsets are all very similar. I think it works as an organization. It's a good place to work. Kearney is a great town, very progressive and forward-looking. Ruining Bank tries to be part of that. We really do strive to find people in the area that are forward-looking and partner with them and see if there's loans or any projects we could work on together, and that's been really successful for the bank in Kearney. The Pay It Forward program uh, that we're involved with, each employee has $250 that they can give to a charity of their choice. I was on the board of the animal shelter in Kearney. At the time, they really needed some funds for just day-to-day -day things for the, the animals that were coming in, so that's where I gave, and personally, that really, uh, really liked that. I think it's an amazing opportunity that we all have to give back to our communities. That's the reason we're in these small towns. That's the reason we've chosen to work for a community bank. And given the opportunity through your job to get to give those dollars to anyone of your choice, I think is amazing. One of the cleaning staff here was diagnosed with cancer, um, and so she was going through treatments. And so I chose to give my donation to her to help her with the transportation, just all the expenses that come along with that kind of a diagnosis. I feel very honored to be able to have that opportunity to, to give back to someone that I know personally. I'm Paul Philippi. I'm third generation owner of Burning Grocery here in Burning, Nebraska. Started in 1973 by my grandpa Rex. My dad, Kurt, came in in 1984, and I've been back working since I graduated college in 2008. Being raised in a family business, you kind of see how much that means to a community. You get that vibrant feeling within family, within customers, and you get a connection that I don't know if you get any other way. Our relationship with Burning Bank goes back to our beginnings. My maternal grandmother has, was at the bank for over 50 years as an employee. My brother works there <laughs> and is a big part of the bank, but it's more than that. It's more than family because outside of the family members, we've always been treated like family. They do a great job helping us anytime we need anything, and they've always done things to help everybody out in the community, which just creates a better, more fertile environment for all of us. I can go over to the bank and it's not going to be about a transaction. It's going to be about what do you need today? How are you doing? You know, what's going on? You know, when Sarah came in, we talked about the softball games last night. That's important. That's a sense of community that really makes things grow. Well, Brewing's a small community and we knew if we were going to be a viable bank in the future, we'd have to grow. We found good people with ideas of helping their customers succeed and grow. Our mission statement to our customers is to help them build and maintain wealth. And our vision is to be a viable family and employee-owned bank. 
If we want to succeed as a bank of choice, we must treat every person who walks through that door not like a customer, but as, as a guest in our home. And I think that's our culture. There's a legacy there that uh, we're following with our great-granddad and my granddad. It's kind of a torch that we're supposed to pass. I think it's a responsibility that our family has carried through the years since 1891. It's a legacy and it's a responsibility and it's who we are. My dad would always say, we hire happy people and teach them how to read and write. I think that's our culture here. When your name's on the water tower and the name's on the bank, there's a lot of responsibility. And I think in the Bible, Luke 12, 48, to whom much is given, much will be required. And I think our family does that. I think our employees do that. And I think our bank people do that and our communities do that. That's who we are. Our venture to Bruning began back in July of 92. My sister-in-law lived here in this town and they knew they had needed a PE teacher, was what my husband did. So we drove all the way across Nebraska from the other side of Missouri and I'm thinking, where the heck are we going to? By the end of the weekend, my husband had a job. By the next weekend, we had a house to live in and we've been here ever since. Started daycare in 97 when my youngest was born and I've raised over 180 kids in this town. We had a neighborhood house that was lived in like two or three times a year. And the guy finally decided he wasn't, he didn't want to come back. You know, we thought, heck, we'll, we'll buy it and we'll fix it up. Then about the next year when we had got it sold, a neighbor of ours, um, an older couple, and he had passed away. We talked to them and before I knew it, we bought all three of the houses. We were able to sell all of them fairly quickly and all of them went to younger people. So we get some new young people in town and we just bought our fifth one that we're gonna rehab and start now. That's gonna be a bigger project, but we're looking forward to the challenge. Bruning Bank was one of the first, I mean, the first time we walked in and got a tour, everybody was really very, very friendly. We've done all of our banking here since we moved here. They gave us a loan for our first house. They've given us the loans on our, through our home equity line of credits where we have done all of our flip houses through them and just always been very thankful for them. I've been with Bruning Bank since I was a little kid because my parents opened up a savings account for me there and I've just never left because of the great relationship I have with everyone who works there. It feels pretty good to own my own home. What you see behind me really wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for Bruning Bank. One of my favorite aspects of my job is working with first-time home buyers. They come in and they're excited, but yet they're nervous. They've never done this before. So I get to walk them through the process, answer any questions they have. It's just a lot of fun to be part of that process to help them buy their first home. Well, the Federal Home Loan Bank's Mortgage Partnership Finance Program, it's just a perfect program for rural Nebraska, rural America. They seem to understand the borrowers and the situations that are unique to rural areas and they have a little bit more flexibility than some mortgage programs do. And so it's been a very, very beneficial partnership with Federal Home Loan Bank and Bruning Bank. Bruning Bank's relationship with Federal Home Loan Bank is very important. We utilize the MPF program for our home loan products and that gives people in our community an outlet where they can work with a community bank and get a home loan that's very competitive with other home lenders in, in the markets, so that's very important. On the commercial and ag side, we utilize the Federal Home Loan Bank to borrow some funds so that we can continue to lend money out to people in our communities on the commercial and business side. So that's important partnership with us. Some of the products and services that we use really help our customers. And being an ag bank, our customers are seasonal based on crop inputs, for example. So we sometimes use the line of credit pretty extensively during the summer months. It provides liquidity when we need it. And that provides us the opportunity to take care of our customers. They don't have to miss a beat. Additionally, we use the letters of credit to pledge for public deposits. That letter of credit has played a big role in that and helped us expand what we do for our community. Bruning Community Foundation was founded in 1992. 
It's personal to me because my grandmother was an original founding member. When I was able to move back to Bruning, one of the big things was the ability to have a good job and raise my family in this community. The foundation is essential to that as they provide these extra quality of life opportunities for all here in our community. Bruning Community Foundation has had his fingerprints throughout this whole area. One of the projects that I'm most proud of that we released and completed two years ago was our daycare center. Daycares are essential to small communities, having a place for parents to be able to bring their kids in a safe environment and be able to work in those communities. We were able to fundraise a significant amount of money to purchase the building and lease it to the daycare provider. Another project we're proud of at the Bruning Community Foundation is our new fire hall. We wanted to upgrade equipment and add new bays. We were able to place it here on Main Street, which is added to our downtown district. Along the lines with the daycare, we just added a two to five year old playground system and we'll be putting in a splash pad later this summer. Having something like this available in our community is essential for the quality of life we can bring to the kids and the families that move to our community. Bruning Bank has been integral with the leadership and donations they have provided through the foundation. It's hard to imagine what our community will look like without Bruning Bank's incredible support. Well, they've just been really good to get along with all these years as far as borrowing money or whatever, you know, uh, financial advice. Uh, the family's known them for a long time. Dad, years ago, had uh, some shelled corn or ear corn up got moldy and he wanted to buy some pigs. This is like back in the 30s when nobody had any money. And he went to the Carlton establishment and they wouldn't loan him any money. And he come over here to old Fred at that time. And Fred said, go get your pigs and loaned him the money and took off from there. I think a community is like a family or a business or anything else. You have to want it and you have to want it to be successful. You have to invest in it and you have to have people that care about it and you have to work at it. I'm proud that we've got locations and small communities that help support grocery stores and be involved in all the things that go on from people coaching baseball and t-ball and church councils and all those things. I think without businesses like ours, like the Burning State Bank, it, it, for rural America, it'd be, it'd be somewhat difficult. We probably maybe not, wouldn't be here without them. We work together on different community projects and in different community organizations. I think it's been for the good of the town.